Yo, it's me, Chris, and I'm wearing the shirt that if I go a little bit too low, kind of looks like shit. Hey, the shit shirt. And we have our special guest, Miss Moogie. Miss Moogie is here as usual. Look at her. She's cute. She's cuddly. And she is fat. <laughs> <laughs> We're also here with this guy. Hey there, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King of the Two a.k.a. Built Different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain himself in the flesh. And today we're going to be watching a parody film. Ooh. Yeah, it was the most rated uh, on the Patreon, well, most voted for, and that is Airplane. Airplane? Yeah. Just uh, straight up Airplane? Straight that up is Airplane. so fucking vague. I know, but it's apparently really funny. I'm looking forward to it, because just right. plain stupid comedies are nice. Yeah. And we haven't watched any, like, really just straight up stupid. No, like, just uh, sipping your uh, sipping your juice in South Central, some crap. Like, I get, can't remember the title. No, it's too long. Too long a title. So, something like that. Yeah, essentially. It, it's essentially like that. That was the only parody film All we've right. watched on the channel. Yeah, dude. Lo it's still, it's probably my top three movies we've ever watched on this channel. Yeah, it was really funny. I, I really liked it. So, we're going to watch another one, which is exciting. Yes. And I just want to say thank you guys for, like, subscribing. We are at 29,000 now, which is holy shit. Yep, soon to be 30k. By the end of October, it should be 30k. I can't honestly believe that, but again, thank you for all you who subscribe, and if you don't subscribe... Or if you haven't subscribed... You could. Yes, you could subscribe. Or you may not. Or you may not. But if you do, I will take you in as my own, and I will love you like a son or daughter. Ooh. And I will take care of you raising you. Oh. To fight off any evil there is in this world. Ooh. To make sure you are set for life. Damn. So if you do not want that and you want to go through life unprepared and miserable, it's your decision. Don't be like me. Yeah. He's just miserable. Yeah. He's prepared, but he's miserable. On that note, we're going to start the movie. Um, hold up. We're not going to start the movie yet. First you subscribe and you hit that fucking bell. Then we'll start the No, I'm just kidding. We'll start the movie right now. Yeah, I always forget there's some stupid bell. Yeah, you can hit it. You know, like the Dude. Notre, like the Hunchback of Notre Dame, just smack that bell. Ring a <laughs> ding, ding, ding. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you guys. Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. Yeah. We're gonna get into the movie right now. Is this like Jaws in the air? That's what it sounds like. Oh my god, it is! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that was a really nice way to get to the title screen, honestly. Yeah, I like that a lot. No stopping in the red zone. All right, I got that. The oh, red zone means stop. Is for immediate loading. Oh, it just repeats and repeats. Oh my god. There is no. I don't like that. We'd like you to have this flower from the Religious Consciousness Church. Would you care to make a donation? No, but thank you. Free flower, nice! Nice! Free flower! Woo! Woo! Listen, buddy, don't start up with your white zone shit again. For this dish, please. Oh, shit! Oh, cool. Oh, my God! <laughs> what? Okay. Taxi! Oh shit. I'll be back in a minute. He turned it on! The asshole! He's counting oh, that for his time! I'd like you to have wow. this flower on behalf of the Church of Religious Consciousness. Would you kick- <laughs> Oh! <laughs> he just left his jacket with Dude, him. Instead of- he gave him a free jacket instead of taking the free flower. Oh my god. What a good guy. Where's the forklift? Forklift! It's over there, oh fuck! Don't oh, do that. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh my god! Dude, he's fired. You'll just be patient. I can work things out. Can't live with the man I don't respect. Woo! Damn, dude. She don't respect you. Literally dropped with the disrespect. What a pisser. <laughs> <laughs> what a pisser. Interesting magazines. Yeah. Dominant females. <laughs> Modern sperm. <laughs> My favorite. New York Times bestseller. Damn. Modern sperm. Uh, this is Dr. Brody at the Mayo Clinic. There's a passenger on your Chicago flight 209. What is that? Did he say Mayo Clinic? A Mayo Clinic? 
Wait, is that jars of mayonnaise? Ago. And he's like, oh, what? Wait, what? In a reclined position. Oh my Whoa! god! What the fuck? Over, I have an emergency call from a Mr. Ham. All right, give me Ham on five. Hold the mail. <laughs> oh, dude, that's set up for the joke. Oh my god. Oh my, that was so good. That was fucking clever. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. Put ham online and hold the mayo. Yep. Brilliant. I promise I can change. Then why didn't you take the job that Louis Nets offered you at. No, I haven't been able to get near a plane since the war. Different cities, different jobs, and not one of them shows you can accept any real responsibility. Shit. I'm going to start my life all over again. Ooh. I'm sorry. So she basically told him, whatever you went through in the war, get over it. We'd like yeah. you to have this flower from the Church of Religious Consciousness. Oh, yeah! Oh my god, yeah! Yo, fuck those flowers! I'd like one ticket to Chicago. No baggage. Why do he say it's so... Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh god! Oh my god! Smoking or non-smoking? Smoking, please. Yeah. Have a nice. <laughs> <day>. <laughs> That's so stupid! <laughs> oh my god! Stop smoking! <laughs> oh no! Oh, uh, the flashbacks. That hunky muffy mess, my old lady. Got to be running cold upside down. Is he? Oh my no. god! No! Holy shit. No fucking way. <laughs> Lay it down or smack them, yak them. Cold got to be. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, it's so stupid. Oh god. Is this ticket still smoking? <laughs> it's still smoking, yeah. First time. No, I've been nervous lots of times. <laughs> Like a train? Ready to taxi. Yeah, I guess. Bye, Bill. Of your pictures. Oh my God. The minute you get. Bye, darling. Bill. Dude, what the? <laughs> 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 Why? What the fuck is this shit? Roger. Huh? The one, two, three point niner. Roger. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Oh my fucking Hello. god! I. <laughs> oh fuck, it's so good. Oh my god, dude. Dude, the jokes are actually really they're, clever. They're so smart. Dad! Got to talk to you. Oh, Stuart is. Excuse me. Damn. So close, yet so far. No wonder you're upset. She's lovely. Firm thighs. Whoa. Damn. Grandma likes the thighs. Grandma knows what's up. I remember when we first met. I was in She's the Air Force. She's so interested. <laughs> Where? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, damn. Hey. Oh yeah, this song. Ooh! Yo, that guy's feeling it! Okay, yeah! Oh man, I fucking love the Bee Gees! The guy next to me to pinch me to make sure I wasn't dreaming. Oh my god, it's so stupid. Oh my god. <laughs> Just dies on a dance floor. Oh, oh god, he's got the outfit! I'm in... Oh shit, he's gonna do it! Oh, oh. 
What's that movie called? Is this Saturday Night Fever? Yeah. I fucking love it. Such lost. a good fucking oh, movie. So good. Oh shit! Oh damn, he's in it! Oh shit! He's doing it! He's doing it! Oh my god. Oh! Okay. Okay! Oh shit! Oh, okay. Wait, what? Dude, the hardest flex in history. Look at him go. Oh, things slow down a bit. Ah. They're still. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, she died, so. <laughs> It's just that whenever I start to talk about Elaine, I always no carried away. I lose no way. Excuse me, I thought you'd might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Oh, that is nice. A gentleman. Cream? No, thank you. I take it black, like my man. <laughs> 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 It's here, coach! <laughs> oh shit, that was good. Oh, wait, is he gonna kill everybody on the plane with the story? Oh man, I almost choked. That was really funny. <laughs> that was so good. We have a visitor. You ever seen a grown man naked? Do you want me to check the weather? <laughs> wait, what? No, what? what? Do you ever hang around the gymnasium? <laughs> They're actually making that kind of joke. Holy fuck. <laughs> oh shit. Wait a minute, I know you. You're Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I'm sorry, son, but you must have me confused with someone else. My <laughs> name is Roger Murdoch. I'm the co-pilot. Dad says you don't work hard enough on defense. And that you don't really try. The hell I don't. I'm out there busting my buns every night. You like movies about gladiators? What? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with What's with these questions? They're so weird and creepy. Oh no, the flashbacks. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Oh. They've cleared you of any blame for what happened on that raid, isn't it? Wow. That? Six men didn't return from that raid. Seven. Lieutenant Zip died this morning. <laughs> yeah, all right. Take five. It's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Excuse me, sister. Could I borrow your guitar? Of course. Huh? Oh, fuck. Oh, you have a guitar. Mm -hmm. I thought maybe you'd like to hear a song. All right. All right, cool. There is only one river. There is only one... <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> It's fucking dying! Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Everyone's happy, they're having a great time! Yeah. Woo! Woo! What a performance. Almost killed him. Yep. <laughs> yeah, after the war, Elaine and I joined the Peace Corps. We were assigned to an isolated tribe, the Malumbos. Malumbos. The Malumbos. And that, as much as anything else, led to my drinking problem. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, I could go on for hours, but I'd probably start no. to bore you. You know, I really couldn't blame. Oh, Sapuku. Hey man. Nice. He's killing off everybody one by one. Captain, one of the woman passengers is very sick. Why is a kid back? Find out if there's a doctor on board as quietly as you can. Oh no. Joey, have you ever been in a in a Turkish prison? What? <laughs> a Turkish prison? Sir, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry I have to wake you. You're a doctor? That's right. Oh fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> I love this guy. Oh my god. Oh. What? An egg? Another egg? What? What kind of condition is this? What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, I'm gonna... Wait. A hospital? What is it? It's a big building with patients, but that's not important right now. 
<laughs> oh I just God. like how literal they are with that. Wait, what? Into some heavy weather. Can you? Roger, take over. What's happening in the Victor? I don't know. How soon can you land? I can't tell. Or can't you take a guess? Not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? No, no, no. I mean, we can't land for another two hours. Oh, uh -oh. shit. Oh, oh what? damn. Dude, he just got mashed potatoed. What happened to him? Why does he have goggles on? Or glasses? <laughs> hey, oh, my God. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, my God. It's so funny. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Oh, no. Oh, shit. High fever, dryness of the throat, quivering, wasted piece of jelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. What a bad time to drink water. Roger, Alain. Roger, I read you. This is Steve McCroskey at Chicago Air Control. Back to you in a minute. Oh, looks like I picked the wrong week to quit smoking. I want the best available man on this. Get me Rex Kramer. <laughs> Rex Kramer? Who the fuck is Rex? Rex Kramer sounds fucking dope. Dropping. No. It's dropping fast. He's dying! He's doing that. Do you fish too? There's a hollow tube. Now that is the manual inflation nozzle. Pull it out and blow. No, they're not going to do it. They wouldn't. But of course. But of course. <laughs> Yo, uh, what's with that creepy look? <laughs> when they built those roads, they had no thought of drainage in mind, so we had to. Do you know anything about planes? Well, I flew in the war, but I was. This is like life or death for this guy here. He just saved the whole plane. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. <laughs> You're the only one on this plane who can possibly fly it. You're the only chance we've got. Don't worry, you got your co-pilot sitting right there. The inflatable pilot. Easy. Oh fuck. Oh no, he's still waiting? What? Where the hell's Kramer? No, man, no one can stop this man. 24,000 feet. Wash, soak, rinse, spin. <laughs> Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a big parade and we'll serve hot. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that guy. I've got to get out of here. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, oh, my, God. God. oh my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, now, now, get back to your seat. Don't do your one on the phone. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. What? The gun? Reverend Moon. Yeah. yeah. Out of his way! Jesus. No! Whoa! No! Yeah! Woo! Oh yeah! Woo! No, get him! Bam! Who's left? Nothing. No ideology could stop Rex Kramer. What a beast! Now, Wait, what? We have baggage <laughs> <laughs> They deliver you to your baggage. 
shit. All right, Steve, let's face a few facts. <laughs> you know, I flew with this man Stryker during... Let me tell you something, Steve. Ted Spiker was a top-notch squadron leader. Long time ago. What? What's Stryker on the speaker? Okay, use my radio. It's like I took the wrong week to quit drinking. Sure did. Now, what hope is to build this man up? You ever flown a motor engine plane before? No, never. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I want you to disengage the automatic pilot. All right, I'm going to unlock the automatic pilot. Oh shit! Oh, he's flying away! <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit. Oh no! <laughs> he's... Oh my god! <laughs> That's so stupid. Johnny, what Shit. do you make out of this? Well, I can make a cap, or a brooch, or a pterodactyl. <laughs> <laughs> a pterodactyl? What the fuck? Okay, man. Well, Steve McCroskey thought you'd want to get down here right away. Yes, I'll be right down. What? Huh? Huh? You can let yourself out the back door. There's juice in the refrigerator. A horse! How's he gonna pour himself a glass of juice? He only got some hooves. Gunnison, check the radar range. Anything yet? It's about two more minutes, Chief. <laughs> what the fuck? Looks like I picked the wrong week to quit amphetamines. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny. Who's flying the plane? One of the passengers. But he's an experienced Air Force pilot. A flew what is that? <laughs> he's a melted ice cream cone. <laughs> Pretty white plane with red stripes, wheels, and it looks like a big Tylenol. What? <laughs> I've never been so scared. Besides, I'm 26 and I'm not married. Talk to Romack. How are you bearing up? To be honest, I've never been so scared. At least I have a husband. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I can't take the pressure. What? I was crazy to think I could land this plane. What? Excuse me? The fog is getting thicker. And Leon's getting larger. What? What the fuck was that? Jumping around like a little goblin. <laughs> Dude, I absolutely love that. <laughs> done the best you could. You can't expect to win them all. I want to tell you something. I was on late duty one night when they brought in a badly wounded pilot from one of the raids. The odds were against us up there, but we went in anyway. Captain made the right decision. George Zip. George Zip said that? The Zip? Excuse me, Doc. Yep. One for the I've Zip. I've got a plane to land. Gotta get one for the Zipper. Damn. Get out of here, you. Little sack of shit. <laughs> All right, I'll need three okay. minutes on the tower. You, Nubar, you must see us. Me, John, big tree. <laughs> what? What? The tower! The tower! Rapunzel! Rapunzel! <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with them? Dude, he's like out of his fucking mind. He's too excited. Oh, it won't be long now. Try not to worry. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> now, there's a chance that we can save him if Stryker can get that plane down on time. Where do 
did you get that dress? It's awful. And those shoes and that coat. <laughs> hey, he ain't wrong. Looking like shit. Eight miles. Turn right to heading. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Not anymore. Well, Disco died. I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. Nice. I picked the wrong week. Quit sniffing blue. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Below 700 now, still going down. 675. 625. The fuck? Just kidding. What? <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with this guy? Right <laughs> Oh shit! I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh dude, he's sweating. Oh my god. Dude, he's gonna drown! Look at that, he landed it. This son of a bitch did it. I just want to tell you both, good luck. We're all counting on you. <laughs> what a stupid joke. <laughs> oh my god. Well, here we are. Save the day and get the woman. Oh, shit. Where's he going? What? What? Oh shit! All right, my man. So we just finished watching Airplane, and we got another special guest. This is our uh, one of our smaller Chihuahuas, Mushu. Mushu's here. Yeah. Look at him. He's a cute little guy. Look how happy he is. Look at that. Yes. What do you think of Airplane, Curtis? Uh, dude, this movie was so funny. Oh my god! It was just like I, there came a point where I was scared to drink water. Dude, there's that one part where it was the joke. It's like I like my coffee like my men. I didn't see that coming, and man, I I swear I was so close to choking on my tea. Dude, it was a curveball, that's for sure. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, uh, what I liked about this movie is that every joke was so fucking clever and smart. Dude, I'm still not over the mayo and ham joke. No, that the was setup for really that good. Was, I was wondering, like, I just didn't get it. A mayo doctor, that doesn't make any sense. But the, the, the payoff, it's such a well-constructed joke. Like, holy shit. I like it. It sucks because we don't get humor like that nowadays. Dude, and like, some of the jokes, like, the, the questions he was asking the kid. You ever seen a man naked before, Joey? Yeah. You ever, you ever been to a, around a gymnasium? <laughs> you ever been to a Turkish prison? Yeah, it's like, what the <laughs> fuck? I did. Dude, the thing is, is like, it just kept shooting joke after joke after joke. Like, some you're going to miss, some are going to hit, and they just kept going and going and going and going. Oh, dude, so many of them hit, though. So many of them Oh, hit. God, yeah, dude. I liked it a lot, man. Jesus. It's nice just to have these kind of movies. Like, they don't do them anymore, honestly. No. They really don't. These kind of parody, like, films, they kind of just died. It's sad because, especially this one, I found, like, this one was just, like, like I told you, the humor is just so smart. That's it. Yeah. I really, really liked it. You know? Uh, they're just, it's hard because, like, there's too many good moments in this movie. Mm-hmm. That's the problem. Whatever happened to the guy in the taxi? Uh, is he there waiting forever? That's what I'm wondering. Legend says he's still waiting there, and I can't imagine how much that li his little time is. He's racking up, man. It's just going up and going up. That's it. It's just insane, dude. Hey, man, I would just take the taxi and drive myself home, honestly, at that point. Uh, he doesn't want to get arrested for that, okay? Oh, that's true. That's true. But it, it was just like... 
Ah, oh, man, there's just too many really, really dumb jokes. I like how it's an inflatable pilot. Is the And the thing is, is that the inflatable pilot was actually competent. <laughs> That's like, the, the inflatable pilot was flying fine. He Ted didn't have to fucking land it. He didn't have to do shit. He didn't have to do it. The guy was doing great. I know. The inflatable thing. My God, dude, that's the best part of it all. Yeah, it was. He, he was completely. Dude, I loved how he was like talking to everybody, and they were just all killing themselves. That oh. was fucking funny, dude. I like how the guy he lit the match, blows it out, he still explodes in the seat. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He just explodes. And he's dude, gone. I'm telling you, man. It's just it's a lot of quick jokes. Like, I don't know, our watermelon hits the desk. Or, or he, what I like is that even the smallest of jokes are appreciate that they could be appreciated when it was um, what's we call the one where it's like. Oh, do you, uh, the smoking letter joke? Dude, that was so clever. That was going on. I was just like, is this smoking, like, ticket going to be in the entire film? Yeah. I was like, impressive. It was, it, it was, again, it was a very, like, a very good setup and stuff like that, right? Again, there's just so many jokes that I can name that were just executed perfectly, you know? And I, the whole entire movie is just a fucking joke. It's one joke after the other. You know, I kind of like that. It gives me the same vibes as, uh, what's we call it there, um, the Holy Grail. Oh, Monty Python? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Give me that kind of vibe. It was just like a joke after joke after joke kind of Yeah, ordeal. you just get a lot of jokes, and there's some jokes that, like, kind of just, um, they kind of, like, they're, it's, they're, it, they're, they're, they run longer through the film, like, yeah, consistently. Uh, like, like, uh, like, when they have to consistently, like, it's like, uh, explain certain buildings and places. Yeah, like a hospital and stuff like that. <laughs> it's not just that, but it was like... Uh, he, he, uh, what was it? Shirley? Every time he said Shirley, hey, don't call me Shirley. Yeah, hey, don't call me Shirley, dude. It's just like it's just such like small jokes. They had like big jokes and then t small jokes hidden underneath throughout throughout the entire movie. I don't know. There's just there's so much to look for in this movie. Yeah, Moose is just chilling, dude. Yeah, honestly, man, it's just it's nice to have this kind of spin on things. It's sad that they don't have movies like this anymore you know it's such a dying art well it's already dead it's a dead art you know the parody film it is i just i personally don't even think they would do well nowadays and i think that's why they no. stop them they, uh, they just stop doing well and then they're just like we're not doing that again i, I guess so and not even that but the, like the again like the, the humor i i've you don't see humor like that today but i think that's the thing because like i think like you could think for example is that the scary movies Scary movies, uh, yeah, one and two are really one good. One and two are really good. I think three wasn't that bad, but after that, it just... Kind of just went downhill. It just didn't work. I think that's the thing. The jokes stopped being clever, and it's just like... Just well, if you're like, always going for a sequel, for example, for scary movies, it's just like, you can't do... I feel like these movies can't be sequeled, almost. I think so, you know? too, because they there's, can, there's they... many different horror films that come out that you can make fun of. I mean that is true. I guess you can make sequels. Like I just this. I find that the writing for the jokes it just went down lower. I guess so. It's I, I guess it's hard to be consistent when it comes to comedy. You know, comedy's not easy. No, it definitely is not. You know, I think comedy could be like the hardest of all of them. Yeah, to man. actually do because you not only do you have to tell the joke, but you have to also deliver it properly. You know, there's an execution that comes with it that has to be good. Also, you could tell a good joke, but if you say it like shit. It's going to be a shit joke. Yeah. Right? Honestly, I, I don't know, man. It's just, it is what it is. Like, I can't even remember the last, like, recent good comedy I saw. Like, a, a comedy oh. that was released recently. Oh, you mean like a recent movie? Like, like Yeah. Uh, like, I'm not talking like, oh, I watched an older film. Like, oh, the other day I was watching Dumb and Dumber. That movie's hilarious. But, like, I'm talking about, like, a movie that was released recently that's just pure comedy that I went out of my way to go watch. I just don't. Personally, I just, I find recent comedies, they just, I don't know yeah, what it is. is. I'm, I'm actually trying to think, and I... Uh, nothing. No, there's nothing no. that I've gone out of my way to go see. No. I don't think there's much of anything that just has interested me. No. You know? The, it's just, the comedies are just, they're not the same anymore. That's literally it. I guess so. I don't know. Well, I mean, oh, if I have to think of the most recent com, like, film that's, like, comedy-esque, it was probably Hangover. The hangover when we saw that i saw that in theaters opening oh, day oh yeah that was probably the last straight up comedy i went and saw and, and i yeah, genuinely enjoyed it yeah we enjoyed thoroughly that was possibly is the last one that, that was, was really that movie. was in high school by the way so like that's a long a time long ago. ass time ago man Whew. <sighs> that's far away but i guess that's it we had a good time good goofs good gaffs good laughs
That's true. A lot of goofs, gaffs, and laughs. I think uh, Mushu wants to go to bed, don't you, Mushu? Yeah, he's giving the, the I want to sleep eyes. Yeah, him. it's almost his bedtime, so he has to go to bed. So we're going to cut this short for Mr. Mushu. He's a little diva, but, you know, he's he deserves it. He works very hard at his job. That is true. He's a hard worker. Mm-hmm. He edits all the videos. He's the He brings in the bread, if you know what I mean. He does bring in the bread. A lot of bread. He's Rye, a baker. Pumpernickel, you name it, he brings it. Dude, That's for pumpernickel? sure. Pumpernickel? Mm-hmm. Sourdough, even. Ooh. Don't even get me started, man. Mushu's uh, one hell of a of a guy. On that note, we're going to end the video. I uh, love you guys. Thanks for your support. It's been crazy. Honest to God. It still uh, blows my mind how many of you there are now. Like, 29,000 of it's you. It's honestly hard to believe because in my mind, I don't think my YouTube channel is like, that big. But when I think about 29,000 people in a room, like, that's pretty fucking big. That's a lot of people, dude. Yeah, when I visualize it in that as way or whatever. In that aspect, yeah. Yeah. Was, it's was, a was, lot was, of people. It's a lot. And you I... Know. You guys are great. And just, you guys are amazing. I mean, all of you guys are just watching two idiots watch movies, you know? What, what more can we say? What more can we do? Yeah. On that note, guys, we are going to leave. So yeah, I, f- I feel like at this point, you've probably already exited out of the video a while ago. And if you haven't, what the fuck are you doing? Like, I, honestly, I'm impressed. Okay, you are resilient. You are strong. Yeah, you know what? You are actually like the survival of the fittest kind of deal. Like, you will survive. You are the fittest. All right. You're getting through whatever the fuck this is. This rambling segment. You're doing a really good job. And you know what? You're looking good doing it too. That's the impressive part. You're looking really good, actually. Pretty damn good. You work out? Hmm? You eat your veggies? Hmm? Sufficient amount of protein? Hmm? Ooh. Mm, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm checking. I'm looking. All right, all right. Get, get out of here, okay? It's done, all right? The video's been done for, like, how many fucking minutes? I, I think this... It's like, been done for, like, two minutes now, Two okay? to three mo- minutes, yeah. Like, why More are you enough. still here? Get out. Just fucking leave, man. Go! Like, don't you have, like, better things to do than to watch two grown men... In chairs, laughing and gaffing and goofing. Who are you? Who am I? Who are we? Bye.